Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on creating a report with images. Before getting into the steps, let's take a look at the image report item. Image report item is used to display images in a report, and it can be loaded from external links, data fields, and embedded images. Image formats that are supported in bold reports are BMP, GIF, JPG, PNG, and XPNG. In this video, you will learn how to add an image to a report. First, let's create a new report. Create a new report, and name it Image Report. To learn how to create your first report, check the link I have provided in this video's description. Now, let's see how to create a report with images. The image report item is listed in the item panel, under the basic items category. Drag, and drop the image report item into the design area from the item panel. Once you drop the image item into the design area, the properties of the image report item will be listed in the properties panel. The name field represents the name of the image report item. Now, let me show you how to set the image properties. The basic settings contain source and value properties. Source includes embedded, external, and database image types. Now, we are going to see examples of how to use external, embedded, and database sources in the value field. In the external option, a dynamic image in the report can be displayed by specifying a direct URL to the image, or setting an expression. First, choose the external option in the source property. And then enter the URL of the image in the value field. It imports the image into the report. Resize the image report item, for better visibility of the image. Click the preview button. To see how the image looks. To add the image using the embedded property, set the value of the source property to embedded. To embed an image in a report, I am going to add the image to the image manager. Click the image manager in the configuration panel. Then, click the Add Image button in the Image Manager panel. Select an image. And click the Open button. Now, the image will be embedded to the report, and listed under the Image Manager panel. You can import only one image at a time. To add more images, repeat the steps. You can import the image to the report, by choosing the image in the Value field. Resize the image report item, for better visibility of the image. Click the preview button. To see how the image looks. Now, let's add the image using the database property. Before adding the image from the database, create a data source and name it employee details. And click the connect button. Then I create a dataset and name it employee dataset and click the Finish button. The dataset is created. Under the Basic Settings category, I choose the Database option from the Source property, to display images from the image data stored in a database. If you choose the Source property value as Database, then Value and MIME type properties are listed. In the Value field dropdown, the available dataset fields in the report will be listed. Choose a dataset field, that is bound to a database field containing an image. Or set an expression with a dataset field. Resize the image report item, for better visibility of the image. In the MIME type property, the type of image can be specified. Supported MIME types are listed in the MIME property drop-down list. You can choose the MIME type according to your image type. For example, if you want to choose the .png file, choose image slash png from the drop-down list. For this demo, I choose image slash bmp. Click the preview button. To see how the image looks. Now, let's move on to the other properties in basic settings. Let's see the property under the link category. The link to option is used to add a hyperlink, 
and report to the image. By default, none is selected. Let's see the property under the appearance category. Using the properties under the appearance category, the user can change the image border style, border color, and border thickness. There are five border styles available, dashed, dotted, double, none, and solid. By default, none is selected. For this demo, I changed the border style to solid. And the thickness to 1.833. You will see the border style is applied to the image report item. Let's see the property under the size category. Before explaining the size option, I change the source value to embedded. And assign a value to the value property. The sizing property is used to format the size of the images, displayed in the design area. It includes four options to adjust the image display. Choose the required size from the sizing drop-down list. The auto size option is used to display the original size of an image in the design area. The fit option fits the image inside the image report item. Fit proportional fits the image inside the image report item while maintaining a certain aspect ratio. The clip option displays the image from the top left corner of the picture. If the image is larger than the image report item, only a portion of the image is displayed. Next, let's see the properties under the position category. The position property is used to change the top and left position values of the image report item. The size property is used to change the width and height values of the image report item. Now, let's see the properties under the visibility category. The visible option is used to show or hide the image report item when viewing the report. By default, it is enabled. Toggle item is used to expand or collapse the image report item based on the text box selection. Now, let's see the properties under the miscellaneous category. Z index property refers to the stacking order of items. The rendering order is from the lowest to the highest. I hope you learned some basic and necessary steps to work with the image report item. We'll see more techniques and report designs in the future. Stay tuned to this channel for our upcoming videos on bold reports. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.